One time I have sun and it's making lines on my face. Yay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new then welcome. I know I have been gone for a hot minute now. I've just been having so many issues with just filming in general. I think this is probably one of my most requested videos. So I will be doing a two part skin related series. Is it, is it called a series? So the first video will be obviously this one where I'll be giving my full impressions of products that I mentioned in my morning skincare routine video that I uploaded last year and I will also be doing a mini haul of Korean beauty products that Yester have sent me. The second video which will be uploaded after this one is going to be kind of my tips and tricks relating to skincare. Hopefully that will be kind of interesting. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not like a skincare expert or anything. These are just from years of my own personal experience. Please just take what I say as an opinion only and do your own research before purchasing any skincare products. These are personal recommendations based on my skincare needs and my type. So I hope you take that into consideration when taking my opinions about these products. So for my skin type, I'm combination skin. I thought I was more on the oil oily side before but lately I've been becoming really dry and I had a period of dehydrated skin as well where no matter how much I put on my face my skin would just feel tight and dry that's kind of a bit of background about my skin without further ado let's get into the video I don't know where I am going so the first products that I will be reviewing are products from COSRX a lot of you probably already know about COSRX they are a very popular South Korean beauty brand and they really do have a lot of great products. I think the most popular products they have is to do with their snail mucin products and also their morning cleanser. This is a very, very popular face cleanser. I've seen a lot of people use this gel cleanser, so I wanted to try it out. And it's been about nearly a year since I've been using this. So would I repurchase this cleanser? Yes, I actually have already repurchased it because this is pretty much empty now. It says it's um, formulated with purifying botanical ingredients. It's a low pH formula and it works to soothe, refresh and soften without stripping the skin. So previously I used the simple moisturizing face wash. So I wanted to give this a go mainly because they advertised it as being super gentle. Obviously it's low pH. I think it's about pH 5 or something. It says it helps keep bacteria at bay and is great for any skin type. A lot of the times after I wash my face, my skin would just feel dry instantly and it would kind of feel tight sometimes. That's why I wanted to try this gel cleanser out and it's honestly working really well for me. Personally, I don't think it's made a huge drastic change in my skin or anything, but I think that's because I was using other products at the same time as when I started using this. It's hard to kind of isolate the results just to one product, but if you ask me if I recommend this, um, I would say yes. I feel like it does really well in removing all the impurities. It does really well in removing makeup residue as well. It's very gentle. It does what it says. It doesn't leave like a stripping feeling on my skin. The cleanser I used previously was even cheaper than this one, but it is quite affordable. Overall, it's just a really nice basic good cleanser. You can't really go wrong with it. The ingredients are mainly plant extracts as well. So this one is a thumbs up from me. So the next product I have is this. This is the Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. It says it's a rich gel type cream formulated with 92% snail secretion filtrate that creates a natural glow and helps your skin appear healthier by providing nourishment and moisture to the skin. So I've actually used up two tubs of this, but would I repurchase no, it's a no from me. So it's not like a thumbs up, not a thumbs down. It's kind of in the middle. This was a very, very hit or miss product. I know a lot of people are curious about this and this is also another one of their popular products. So I was really excited to try this out, but unfortunately it didn't really work that well for me, even though I did use two tubs, but there is a reason for that. So like I mentioned previously, my skin type is combination, but I am very dry around my forehead. This cream actually ended up making my skin a bit more dehydrated. My skin was literally begging for moisture, guys. So when I first used this and when I filmed my morning skincare video, I thought it was doing pretty well. Honestly, I thought it was doing pretty well, but I finished this whole tub and this is 3.52 ounces. I finished my first tub in less than two months, like a month maybe, because I was using so much of it to get the moisture that I needed. I didn't realize till after I actually finished the whole tub, like 
I don't think I was supposed to use it that quickly. My sister actually bought it as well to try and she did not like it at all. It didn't give her enough moisture, it just felt sticky. So I took the tub and I was like, okay, let me just give it another go. So I used it for another few months. By the end of it, my skin was just dehydrated. It was just lacking moisture. I do feel like it made my skin look a bit more glowy and it did help some hyperpigmentation, but I think that's because I was using it in conjunction with this essence that I will talk about in a bit. So I don't think those results were purely because of this cream, which is really sad because I really wanted to like it. But if you do have more oily skin, then this might be a better option for you guys. Like I get quite oily around my nose and my cheeks, but even this area was dry after I put this cream on. The consistency is really nice. I feel like there's like a specific technique that you have to put this on. You can't just kind of drag it everywhere because it is obviously snail mousse and it's gonna be quite sticky. So I would kind of get like a little bit and put it around my face and then just kind of do it in like this motion and tap it in. I feel like that was the best way for me to put it on so that's my opinion about the all-in-one cream next product is probably one of my favorite products that i've purchased from this range so far and it's the advanced snail 96 mucin power essence i think this is one of their most popular products it says it's 96% snail secretion filtrate, helps the skin lose less moisture while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. So this essence is said to target wrinkles, acne, dry skin scarring and just improve overall brightness. So would I repurchase this? Yes, I've actually already purchased two. I've kind of used up a quarter of the other one. It's in a super nice bottle. So with this, the texture is obviously sticky. It's really not as bad as a lot of people would think when they hear snail mucin. I think it really depends on the way that you apply a skincare product. So I'm not going to be applying this the same way as I would apply a very, very water-based essence. And I wouldn't apply this cream the same way I would apply a very thick lotion onto my skin, for example. The way that you apply your products is really, really important as as well for you to get the most out of the product and I have a particular way of applying this as well press it into my skin and then just work it in again in that kind of upward motion I can see why people like it so much for me personally I think this has really really helped with any breakouts that I've had any scarring and discoloration I had like some scarring on my cheek from this random breakout that I had years and years ago it's just an amazing product and I would give it two thumbs up at first I didn't really notice what it was doing but like a year later after using this I can say that I do notice a difference from when I don't wear it and when I do wear it it's hard to again isolate results to one product so I did try a few days without this and I could definitely notice the difference the way that I would describe this is it's kind of like a primer for your skincare. So you know when you wear makeup primers, it makes your skin super smooth, it kind of blurs out your pores and it's ready for makeup application. For me, this is kind of like that for skincare. And when I put my moisturizer on, it feels just really, really nice. It also makes my skin look really dewy and glowy and it gives me a lot of hydration. I think that's why when I use these two products together, this worked a lot better just because this was providing the extra hydration that this cream didn't provide if you are planning on purchasing this i would definitely recommend trying this first or with the cream because this is definitely a worthwhile purchase like now even if i just apply this my skin will still feel really nice and i also really like the fact that this product has long-term benefits with kind of increased collagen production and that obviously helps with your skin looking more plump and healthy and radiant so that is the essence So the next product I have is a face mask and it's the Cosrx Ultimate Nourishing Rice Mask. This is what it looks like. With this product, I really, really liked it when I began using it. Just because it felt really nice on the skin, very light. So because my skin became more dry, I really looked towards using this just to give me that extra hydration that my skin was so desperately needing. It says that this has 65% rice extract, hydrating, it brightens the skin, evens out your complexion. It has niacinamide, if you know that's a really popular brightening ingredient, works to nourish and moisturize the skin it's a lightweight formula for all skin types so for this one in my morning routine i was kind of raving about how lightweight this is makes my skin feel super hydrated i think this is a good overnight face mask it did make my skin feel like it was brightening up a bit but i actually stopped using this mainly because for some reason 
I started getting more little bumps on my face and I don't know if that was just because I introduced quite a few products into my skincare routine so my skin was just adjusting to this one but I did wear this for a good few months I think nearly like six seven months it just never really liked it so yeah I think I prefer using like sheet masks and things. If you're thinking of purchasing this, I would definitely recommend you trying it out at least. Even if it didn't work for me, it could work for you. Like I mentioned previously, it's obviously really lightweight. It just sinks right into the skin. For some reason, it didn't sink into my skin that well. Overall, it did make my skin look a bit brighter, give a glowy complexion and whatnot, but that was just very temporary. My skin just didn't adjust well to it. It's not something that I would be like, yes, this is amazing it's just kind of like a eh. whatever you purchase no and it's kind of like a middle thumb for me Moving on from COSRX products, I just wanted to quickly mention another product that I used in my morning skincare routine video. This sun cream is probably one of my favourite sun creams of all time. I can't recommend it or rave about it enough. I still stand by what I said in my previous skincare video about this. So this lasts me about six months. This is very, very liquidy. Like you have to shake it before you apply it. I apply some on my hand and then pat it into my skin so that I lose as less product as possible. I don't like to kind of rub it in my hands and rub on my face and would I be purchased this yes I mean if this doesn't tell you that I love this sun cream then I don't know what will very very lightweight it doesn't make my skin greasy it doesn't leave a white cast it leaves a very dewy and glowy complexion for me to work with if you're putting makeup on or anything it makes your skin just look really bright the next brand that I want to talk about is The Ordinary and you probably already have heard about The Ordinary. It has very very raved about products that work wonders for so many different people. So I was super excited to try these two products out in particular. I really did want to like these products guys but unfortunately they're both a big thumbs down from me and I would not repurchase them and my sister used them as well and she did not like them at all. So the first product is the Niacinamide. This is a very 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 popular product that I've heard a lot about. The reason I got this is because it's advertised as being very beneficial for the skin in terms of brightening, improving the appearance of enlarged pores, uneven skin tone, dullness and blemishes. My main issues were dullness and uneven skin tone but it was just a complete flop and this is not just my opinion it's also the opinion of my sister she used this as well she has a different skin type to me and she didn't like it at all. So the reasons why I didn't like it. Application wise it left white streaks on my face. It started to pile up. It didn't absorb properly. It was honestly just so much unnecessary stress in the morning. So I've heard a few people have had that problem with this product. So they said that maybe it's the way that you apply it. So I tried kind of applying it in little dots. I tried doing it in large sections, small sections, upward motions, patting it in, just pressing it in. I tried it all guys and nothing worked. If I tried to pat it in, it would just leave like little white dots where my fingers were. If I tried to blend it in, it would leave a nice white streak on my face. So with ordinary products, you have to be very, very mindful and do your research about what you're buying and also the combination of products that you're using. You don't want to layer products that don't work well with each other. You want things that complement each other. So I tried to apply this on a face with nothing on it. I tried to apply it before moisturizer, after moisturizer, before essence, after essence. I just did it all and it just never ever absorbed into my skin properly or even applied nicely. I honestly really tried to like this product guys, but it just, it just didn't work. I have heard that niacinamide from other brands are better. So if you have any recommendations, do let me know because this is supposedly a very good product. But in all honesty, after I stopped using this, my skin just stopped having so many little breakouts. Overall, I just didn't like the feeling of it on my face. I didn't like how it made my skin feel so sticky. So the next product is this rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. I really do like facial oils. I used a uh, facial oil for years and years and it was from Kiehl's. It was their midnight recovery concentrate and it did wonders for my skin. Like I would wear it at night and in the morning I'd wake up and it would have taken care of all my blemishes, gave me a very youthful glowy look in the morning but I stopped using that mainly because after a few years it just stopped kind of working as well for my skin so I stopped using that and I was really excited to try
try our new facial oil. So it said that rosehip oil is rich in vitamins, antioxidants, it's phenol for anti-inflammatory and regenerative properties. It's said to calm redness, dry skin, um, treat scars and burns and things. So just hearing that makes you really want to try this oil out. So the first time I used it, I woke up the next morning, I was looking in the mirror and I was like, oh, my skin does look kind of nice and glowy and whatnot. But I think I was just trying hard to find something good about it in all honesty I think I was just trying so hard to like see a difference obviously you're not going to see a difference in one day but I was really hoping that it would kind of have the same effects as the previous facial oil that I used but one thing that you have to consider is that my skin does not readily absorb oils and things that well it just kind of stays on the surface and absorbs really really slowly but regardless of that my previous facial oil would still give me some kind of benefit from applying it this just never gave me anything it just i was like please give me something it just never gave me anything guys and also i don't know if you guys can see the seal kind of just broke after i used it a few times so i was kind of sad about that because with skincare products you have to have patience so i wanted to give it another chance but the seal broke and I thought that was something that I did. It just happened really randomly. But my sister bought the same product, a completely different bottle, and hers did the same exact thing after wearing it a few times. So because the seal was broken, more air was getting in it, the smell was starting to get really strong. So it was just obviously not gonna give me the same results because it had been compromised by the oxygen around me. I wish it worked, but it didn't. Rose of oil just didn't do anything. The seal broke, left me feeling greasy sad and just disappointed um, the niacinamide was just stressful to apply so that is basically my review of the ordinary products that i used so finally i'm on my final product the cerave moisturizing lotion i saw this a lot on tiktok as well so before i get into this product the reason i switched to this lotion is because after oh, the main reason is because this cream left me dehydrated and defeated so I had to find another moisturizer ASAP because my skin was just crying. My face looked greasy but my skin just felt dry. The reason I chose this lotion is because it's simple very simple i wanted to go back to basics i only ever used a moisturizer sun cream and face wash before lockdown started and i wanted to go back to just using very basic simple products so currently in my skincare routine i use this i use this sun cream i use this face wash and i use this essence so i only use these four products now it says it's for dry to very dry skin it moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier of the face and body with three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid obviously ceramides and hyaluronic acid are renowned for hydration and just improving damaged skin barrier so it was just what i needed i think it's so important to understand what your skin type is and what your skin needs are before purchasing any product and for me i was mistaken into thinking that my skin was more on the oilier side when in fact it was just in the middle and it really depends on the weather here where i live it is a temperate climate this lotion is the perfect consistency for all weather types for me personally if you have combination skin like me and you tend to get a bit oilier in some areas as well i would highly highly recommend getting the lotion over the cream the lotion you can kind of build on so if it's not enough you can always put more on top and make it more um, thicker but with the cream it's already very very thick and heavy so you can't really control that that's one of the things i was really contemplating about when buying this product i was kind of worried that it would not be moisturizing enough it would not be thick enough because i was still kind of traumatized from my previous moisturizer experience but this has honestly worked wonders for my skin my dehydration on my forehead and things have completely gone this and this together have just been amazing for my skin and would i repurchase this yes i've actually already repurchased this it's very accessible it's very affordable so this is a big thumbs up for me and i would highly recommend this product for anyone that's looking for something simple and that's the moisturizer i'm currently using and will continue to use in the foreseeable future that's all for my skincare product review so these are the final few that remain from my little skincare trials
Next, I'm going to be doing a mini Korean beauty haul. Yes, I were very kind enough to send me some products. I've made some notes about my first impressions of the products, so I'll be looking down to read them so I don't um, miss anything. The first product that they sent me was this Makeup Raw Source Hydrating and Nourishing Essence. It comes in a super cute bottle like this and it just feels really nice. This is said to be a sort of 3-in-1 toner essence emulsion type situation. It's said to have 93% maple tree sap, so it has smaller molecules than water which is really great for deeper hydration and fast absorption of the product it's quite liquidy so when i applied this it just absorbed really quickly into the skin but it did feel kind of sticky but that didn't last very long another thing that i've noted down here it has a strong airy floral scent i don't know if people would like having this smell on their face for like the whole day and for every day of the week i prefer things with no smell or no fragrance it's said to be good for all skin types and targets concerns such as aging dehydration dullness and uneven skin tone so overall it sounds really great i was very excited to try a new essence out because i've been loving the cosrx one so much the next product they sent me is this daily sun essence it comes in this really cute little bottle it feels really nice i love when packages feel really soft so the main thing is that it's advertised as an essence sun cream but also very moisturizing essence it absorbs really fast into the skin when i wore it it didn't leave any white cast which is a plus one thing i would say is it has a lavender scent and it's a very strong lavender scent like when i first wore it i think i pumped out too much it just was borderline like tea tree smell and i really don't like the smell of tea tree it just smells very acidic to me so if you don't like strong lavender or tea tree scents i don't think you would like this smell they also sent me this dear claire's gentle black fresh cleansing oil which i was super super excited to receive because i've heard a lot of good things about this and if you watch my previous skincare video i said that i wanted to try a double cleansing method double cleansing method is just when you use an oil based cleanser and then like a gel or um, foaming cleanser afterwards this one is said to be a mild cleansing oil made up of 85 percent light and refreshing vegetable oil coconut sunflower seed oil grape seed oil and jojoba oil it gently melts away makeup and skin impurities with a clean finish so i have used this a few times and it is really really good in terms of scent it smells like sunflower oil because it has sunflower oil but it's nothing too overbearing you don't have to worry about it clogging your pores or leaving you feeling oily or greasy it doesn't feel like that at all and my sister tried this as well and she had like waterproof mascara and eyeliner and it all came off there was no residue it just really did melt away the makeup really well so this is definitely something that i will continue to use it is still unopened so i haven't um tried it so i'm going to try to take this off how much am I supposed to take? Just, oh, that might be a bit too much. So I'm gonna, oh, I shouldn't have done my lips because now my face is gonna be red. Oh well. final product they sent me is actually from day mellow it's a little skincare tool just to massage your face and i've been using this pretty much every day when i can remember to take it out of the freezer because i leave this in the freezer to keep it nice and cool so i use it like under my eyes all over my face just to help with blood circulation it just helps improve the elasticity of your skin to give you that youthful and plump glow and look this also stays cold for a really long time so it retains the coolness really really well so it's really great for when you have like like puffy eyes in the morning so i would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a skin tool it's been super super helpful it feels really nice after massaging my face and honestly after massaging my face with this day and night i feel like my skin looks a lot more glowier and it helps my face kind of de-bloat in the morning as well because i drink so much water at night like when i wake up my face is just like boom So guys that is it for today's video i know it's full of information but i hope it's been helpful if it has then please do leave a thumbs up and if you have any more questions then please feel free to leave them in the comment section below or just say hello i really love reading all your comments be sure to turn the notification bell on as well as i will be uploading the part two of this little skincare series and it will be about my skincare tips and tricks to help you on your skincare journey thank you for watching as always guys hope you all stay safe and well and i shall see you in my next video Bye-bye. Cold sweat, I was in a nightmare, searching in the dark, but I couldn't find you.
There were footsteps coming down the hallway, but when I turned around, it wasn't you. I was looking at myself, I couldn't see my face, but deep down I knew it was true. Shadow.